he's good, come on and give him a praise. If he's been great for you this week, come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This song simply says, here's my worship, all of my worship. We're here today to just give God all of ourselves. Everything that we have, we're here to give it to him because he's totally worthy of it. Totally worthy of it. Father, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship. All of my worship, say you, Lord, you, Lord, you, Lord, you are worthy. And no one and no one can worship you for me. For all the things, all the things. Say, here's my worship. Here's my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Receive my, receive my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Here's my worship. Here's my Join him and help him sing. Here's my word. Go ahead and sing it. Give him his worship.
you sing it. And I will, I will not be silent. Get off three part harmony, y'all. Here, and I will die. sing it. Here's my worship. Come on, everybody in the building, go ahead and give God your worship right here. This is the moment for you to give all the praise, all the glory to our God. Take this moment just for you, you and God. Everybody in the temple, help me sing that.
take a moment right here and just bask in his presence. Hallelujah. This is the moment right here. Go ahead and worship your Lord. Go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him, y'all. Let's worship him. The Prince of Peace, Lords of Lords, Kings of Kings, the child that was born that turned out to become the son. The one, Lord God, that the governments will rest on his shoulders. Right now, he's in the midst of all of us. And we thank you, Lord. Lord God, we thank you on today, Father. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for being in our midst, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being in the midst, Lord God, of this medium, the Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for being in the midst, Lord God, of our home every business venture, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being in the midst, Lord God, of our health issues, Lord God. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for every wall that is formed against us. When it comes down, Lord God, you bless us in so many ways, Father God. Lord, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for the midst, Lord God, of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, that's in this place. Fill the atmosphere, Holy Ghost, right now. Have your way in the service, Lord God. Lord God, bind the iniquitors, Lord God, of wickedness, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, bind them, Lord God, from the White House, Lord God, down to the trap house, Father God. Lord God, release, Lord God, the sins, Lord God, against our children today, Father. Lord God, bless them in each and every way, Lord God. Lord God, bless the school system, Lord God. Lord God, eradicate, Lord God, violence, Lord God, in the city, Lord God. Lord, we need a sweeping, Lord God. We need a Zusa experience, Lord God. We need an upper room experience, Lord God. And shadow of the Holy Ghost, Lord God, to come to rule, Lord God, across this land, Lord God. You are the Prince of Peace, the Lords of Lords, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that you take the governments, hallelujah, on your shoulders, Lord God. Fix it right now, Jesus. Fix it. Fix it, Lord God. Lord God, we are calling on you, Lord God, to come into our marriages, Lord God. Come into our homes, Lord God. Those medical situations, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to intercede. Lord God, you are the physicians of a fish. Lord God. You're the manufacturers, Lord God, of these bodies. You regulate our mind, our hearts, Lord God, and we forever give you the praise for the sacrifice, hallelujah, that you have made on Calvary Hill, the shedding of your blood, the breaking of your bones, Lord God. They pierced you in the side. They hung you up high, Lord God, for a wretch like me. And Lord God, I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to. I got to, I got to give you praise. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for saving a wretch like me. Lord God, where would I be? Hallelujah, without you, Lord God. Oh, Father God, I thank you on today. 
Lord God, your presence is in this place. Save somebody, Lord God. My daughter needs to be saved. My son needs to be saved, Lord God. Lord, fix that marriage right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, Jesus, fix it right now, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, and we forever give you praise. Your praise, Lord God, is in our worship today. Your praise today is in our worship. Lord, increase our faith, and I thank you, and we forever give you the praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, for allowing us to come together one more time. Truly, it is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Scripture this morning be coming from Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. Just remember, if you walk in the counsel of the ungodly, you will not have that personal favor with God. But if you walk in the counsel of the godly, you will have a merited favor in Jesus' name. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But this is the day that the Lord has made. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are here to rejoice and be glad in it. You can be seated as you take your seat. Just tell somebody, I'm glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, let's try this again. Come on, make a joyful noise. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God, what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to be in the land of the living. I'm excited to be in my right mind. I'm excited to have the blood warm in my veins. I'm excited to be seen and not viewed. Come on, somebody. It could have been you last night. It could have been me last night. But nevertheless, what a mighty God that we serve. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, but definitely this is the day that he has made, and he has made me glad, amen, and I'm grateful, amen, that I am in the land of the living to give God glory and to give God honor for the great things that he has done and the things that he is doing and the things that are yet to come. Thank you, praise team, hallelujah, musicians and our ushers and greeters and our friends and those who are here those who are viewing online thank you for worshiping with us this morning hit that share button as quick as you can to let your followers know that living grace church cathedral is live on facebook and also on youtube we enjoy to have you be our virtual virtual worshiper with us on this morning we enjoy your presence we enjoy your comments we enjoy those hearts and those thumbs that you send up and we enjoy you sending it out to others. And good morning to our pastor morning, here, Bishop. Pastor Dorn. It's good, good, good to be back good in the morning. house of the Lord. So I allow you to share your announcements. Amen, amen. Again, welcome to Living Grace Worship Cathedral. Do we have any first-time uh, visitors and guest worshipers with us today? Amen. Just give us a wave. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen, amen. We thank you for coming out and worshiping with us. We know you could have been anywhere else. And we pray that you felt the love of Christ when you came into the doors. And we know you're going to get the word of God. 
So we say thank you, amen. And you should have received a, a gift bag. There's a little card in there. Just put your information in. We won't bombard you with emails, but we love to keep everyone abreast of what we're doing here locally in the town of Middletown. So um, again, we say thank you, amen. And welcome to all of our family and good to see everybody, our LGC, LGWC family, amen. We say thank you again for coming out and worshiping with your family, and uh, we pray all is well. Just some quick announcements for you. Um, we want to share that um, this coming Saturday, April 9th, and you'll see some of these announcements, but we wanted to make sure we share it with everyone, and Bishop will touch on it more, um, that we'll be hosting the Delaware Church on the Road yes. Men's Ministry. Amen. Yes, we're looking for all the men to come out on this Saturday, it's only from 9 to 10, all of the churches in our community will be coming together, where men will be coming together, we'll be hosting it here, and so brothers, please help us out, come out, we need your support as well as your presence and your prayers this Saturday from 9 um, to 10, and if you're interested, just stick around a few minutes after service, we'll give some instructions on what we need to do to be prepared. Amen, amen, and then next Sunday also is still um, sub- Excuse me, Palm, Palm Sunday, Sunday. Yes. amen. Palm Sunday. So we welcome everyone to come and join us for that fellowship as we go. We, we can have a sub Sunday. That's what What's Sarge a sub Sunday? Yeah, no subs. Anybody, right. <laughs> sub, sub. I'm, we I'm may like, have yeah, to do that. Jersey Mike, <laughs> Jersey Sunday, Mike Sunday. Tasty Sunday. You hungry? I, I'm you hungry, always honey. hungry. You hungry? Know, <laughs> 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 So next Sunday is Palm Sunday, and then Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday yes, Amen. and Good Friday. Everybody say Woo! Good Friday. We're coming Good up Friday. to Holy Week. Yes, Amen. Yes. So we are preparing for that journey, but we, um, as a ministry, we always host a fish fry um, right. on that day. So at 11 a.m., we will be here out in the parking lot, yes. um, uh, doing what we do. Our fish of our fish sandwiches and fish dinners mm -hmm. are known in Middletown. That's so right. spread the word. We'll be taking orders and things of that nature. Um, we also will be hosting on um, Easter and Resurrection Sunday weekend a sunrise service, not so sunrise, at 7.45 a.m. Amen. 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 So we welcome you to join us for that service. Then after that, we usually host a little mini reception type of app uh, not appetizer, but what do you call it? Refreshments, kind of light refreshment, light refreshment mm -hmm. um, at 9 a.m. and then resurrection service at mm -hmm. 10 a.m. So get your families and come on out, spread the word, and get into the house of the Lord. Um, we are always been open, but we're welcoming those who haven't yes. been um, in service to come on back into the house to assemble with your family. Right. Amen. Amen. And then we also want to just share that we um, have officially gone, uh, um, what's the word I want to say, optional with the mask. So we want everyone to be comfortable. Yes. So if you feel as though you want to wear your mask, you wear it. If you do not, you do not. There is free seating. We have seats in the, on the floor. We have seats over here. So never mm -hmm. feel obligated to sit any Take type of way. Seconds. Just let the um, usher know, and they'll take you to the appropriate area. But we will be continuing to monitor um, safety as numbers and trending and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So just want you to be aware. You also can always skip a seat or two seats in between. If you're not with the person that you're with, you have the right to sit further apart. So mm -hmm. just keep that in mind. Amen? That's right. Amen. And then continue to do our due diligence with the non-touching, and that will help eliminate any spreads of anything. I um, want to put out there um, that we are going to be doing a spring cleaning for the church and um, looking to see if we can get volunteers. I'm going to um, get someone to put a list out on the table. And if you're interested and you have some um, time, we're going to do it on a Saturday. I'm looking at April 30th. We have some areas in the church that we need to kind of touch up for the spring, make sure everything is put away nicely, change over the pulpit for the spring, flowers if you have that kind of gift area. I know some people said they have decorating skills. Um, please uh, put your name on that list, and we'll do that on that coming Saturday. Amen. April 16th, um, LGWC is going to host an um, IMAC uh, yes. meet and greet. I'll let Bishop speak to that. Or not. Yeah, this is a meet and greet for all of our um, um, churches that are in the area throughout the state of Delaware. IMAC stands for Interdenominational uh, Minister Action uh, Council of 
Sunday that the first vice president, this is George Gibson, is our president. And even on this afternoon, we are hosting our Martin Luther King service at New Destiny uh, Fellowship Church in Wilmington. It got postponed uh, in March, and so it's going to be on this evening at 6 p.m. So if you are available, come out. Um, our, the bishop that consecrated me, Bishop Eric Dillon Young, is going to be our guest uh, speaker, and we all know we love Bishop Dillon, and so he's in the area. And so come over and, um, and support. But on next Saturday, the following Saturday, we're having a meet and greet and inviting pastors and leaders to come here. So if you're available, come out and uh, hear what our nice have to offer. We are a social justice organization constantly fighting for our families and our community throughout the city. Amen, amen. And thank you to all of our leaders that were able to join us yesterday um, for our session and meeting. And then we also wanted to speak before you that we have still a need for those who wish to serve um, with Living Grace. We have a need for media trainees, admin volunteers, soundboard trainees, and praise and worship ministers, um, le praise and worship leaders. So if you are interested in those areas, please see myself and I can kind of get you to the right person to coordinate, get you all set up and acclimated. And last but not least, we want to do the right hand of fellowship now. Yes. Okay, amen. Amen. I left the envelope there, <laughs> the folder. Um, we would like to um, share that we have one new member who completed her her growth track, her uh, new membership class, and we want to welcome her officially with the right hand of fellowship. And it reads as thus, Living Grace Worship Cathedral Certificate of Discipleship. This document certifies that Ms. Sharon Cox has voluntarily joined the spiritual family of Living Grace Worship Cathedral and successfully completed all studies required to decide salvation, discipleship, and membership on Sunday, April 3rd, 2022, affirmed by Bishop Jeffrey Broughton and myself, Pastor Dawn Broughton. So we would like to welcome Amen. Sister Sharon Cox. Come on, put up. your hands Amen. together for her. Come on up. <laughs> Amen. 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 Sister Cox, would you, you come on up and you'll, we'll extend Lord. that to you. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. To God be the glory. And in, in lieu of what we normally would do is come and shake hands and things like that, but we're still being mindful of the time. So we, LGWC leaders, stand up, please, and let's welcome Sister Amen. Cox. Amen. Those that are here. When you see her, we'll when give you, you see wave. her, greet her. <laughs> Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise Amen. The Lord. One more thing. <laughs> I know I'm talking a lot this morning. It's April. Any April birthdays for this month? If you have a birthday in April, please April, stand. April, April, April. Anybody? No April. Ain't no April birthdays. Amen. Well, we Maybe want online. Online, we say happy birthday. Happy I know birthday. today is actually Crystal, one Sister of our Crystal's praise and worship birthday. leaders' Woo! birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Crystal. Crystal. If you're watching. Amen. So we wish you a happy birthday. Amen. Amen. Your morning announcements. Thank you. Good morning, Living Grace Worship Cathedral. Here are your announcements. Join us for prayer Monday through Fridays at 12 p.m. The dial-in number is 716-427-1359, and the access code is 625-910. Also, join us for Back to the Altar Prayer every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral and on Facebook Live. We hope to see each and every one of you there. Join us Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Wednesday Night Recharge Bible Study. Recharge will be held here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral as well as on Facebook Live. We hope to see each and every one of you there. God bless. Lead Generation Millennial Prayer Call every second and fourth Saturday at 12 noon with dial-in number 716-427-1359. Enter access code 625 -910. Lead Generation. Midweek Recharge. For all teens and millennials. Midweek Recharge. Wednesdays at 7 p.m. in person or on Zoom. Meeting ID. 498-126074. We will see you there. Wednesday on 7 p.m. Regeneration. 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 Please join our New England campus with Pastor Tim every Thursday evening at 7 p.m. on Facebook. We hope to see each and every one of you there. 
Chapel. Calling all millennials ages 19 and 35, join us here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral every fourth Wednesday at 7 p.m. Millennial Meetup. Come on out and join us as we go through the book Crazy Faith by Michael Tower. If you would like to participate, please make sure you purchase your book as soon as possible. The book can be purchased through Amazon, Walmart, and Target. We hope to see you all there. God bless. All are welcome. Every third Friday at 7.30 p.m., join our marriage ministry leaders. Every third Friday, April 15th, couples will be cooking with Chef Pat Lee. Couples will learn and discuss effective ways to communicate in love while preparing a fun dish together. Tickets are $30 per couple, RSVP by April 8th. Contact Gwen on next screen at lgwcdeinfo at gmail.com. We hope to see you there. Delaware Church on the Road, Men's Monthly Fellowship, Saturday, April 9th at 9 a.m. right here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral. All men are welcome. You are invited to Resurrection Sunday, Sunday, April 17th at 10 a.m. Join us. Join us for a Mother's Day celebration with Reverend Pearl Johnson Sunday, May 1st at the College of Fire Hall in Wilmington, Delaware. See Elder Linda LaRue for tickets and information. Bishop Broughton and Pastor Dawn wishes all those who have a birthday in this month of April a very happy birthday. Thank you all for your attention and please govern yourselves accordingly. God bless. No other king could break the dominion of darkness, the tyranny of evil, with a reign of grace and a kingdom of peace. No other king could give his life for the redemption of rebels, his wealth to welcome the outcast. Jesus is that king, the king of glory, son of the living God. Not just another king, not just another prophet, not just another was the one the world had been waiting for, the one to deliver us from captivity, the son of David and Abraham's chosen seed. He is the goal of the Mosaic law, Yahweh in the flesh. He is the one to establish God's reign and rule, to heal the sick, give sight to the blind, freedom to the prisoners, and proclaim good news to the poor. This Jesus was the creator come to earth and the beginning of a new fulfilled the commandments and reversed the curse. This Jesus is the Christ that God spoke of to the serpent, the one prefigured to Noah in the flood, the one promised to Abraham, the one guaranteed to Moses before he died, the one promised to David during his reign, the one revealed to Isaiah as a suffering servant, the one predicted through the prophets and prepared for through John the Baptist. He is the Father's Son, substitute for our sins, more loving, more holy, and more wonderfully terrifying than we ever thought possible. He is our Jesus, and there is no other king like him. He is our God, our glory, our victorious Savior. There is no other king like him. There is no How many know there is no other king? Amen. There is no other name above the name of Jesus. How many know we worship the Lord in our giving? Amen. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Um, uh, yeah, turn those lights up. See, when folks got the lights down, we try to do, you know, get a look at everybody in a slowful, slowful mood. Every light so y'all can wake up a little bit. Amen. Amen. Changes the mood. Appreciate you, sir. We worship God in our giving because God gives to us 
more than we can ever give back to him. And because he gives to us, he gives us generously, amen, above measure, more than we can ask or, or think. I, I give because God gives everything that maybe not what I want, but the things that I need. Hello? Amen. It isn't, isn't it good to know that God gives you what you need? You may not get what you want, but you will get what you need. And what you want sometimes may not be what you need. I want a lot of things, but God knows what I need. And the need will always supersede the wants in our lives. Because sometimes what you want may not always be good for you. And what you may want may not always be good to you. But God has a way of sending you what you need. And sometimes what you what you don't want is what God wants you to need. Come on, somebody. Now, I don't like that. You know, we become particular on different things. No, I don't like that. I don't want that. And God may be saying this is even in your life. What you don't want is what you really need. And so when we give to God, we give unto him unconditionally from our heart and the seed that you give must matter to you the seed that I sow into good ground the seed that I sow into lives the seed that I sow into this ministry must matter to me because if the seed that I sow matters to me then it will matter to God and I need God to want my seed to be honored and blessed amen and I don't want God to look upon my seed and see that this is a seed that has been given grudgingly. The word of the Lord declares that he loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Because when I give this seed and because this seed matters to me, watch this, I'm expecting something to happen. When a farmer uh, puts a seed in the ground or you that plant at home and may want to plant a garden some tomatoes some cucumbers some, some collard greens some mustard greens amen you you put that seed in that soil expecting come on y'all something to happen amen if i if i'm gonna grow this potato if i'm gonna grow this if i'm gonna grow that i'm expecting something no, we don't got no children in here, but when parents come together huh, to conceive, they're expecting something to happen. And when we sow, when we give unto God, we are expecting something to happen. And he says he opens windows of heaven. Come on, somebody. You got to believe that. You got to believe that when he opens the window of heaven begins to pour out blessings and it shall not be room enough to receive it. So when you sow this seed and when you give your tithe and when you give your offering and when you give unto the Lord, I'm giving and saying, God, I'm expecting something to happen. Whatever you need God to do, God, I am sowing in faith because I'm expecting something to happen. Whatever door I need to be opened, God, I'm sowing because I'm expecting something to happen. I'm expecting you to move because you said in your word that you will move. Hallelujah. And so when you need God to move, you got to learn how to put your praise on it. Hallelujah. You got to learn how to put a praise on it, God. I am sowing because I'm expecting and I'm reaping what I sow. Because the word says, he that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly, but he that sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. So let's give unto the Lord today because God has continued to give unto you. But give unto the Lord because you know that God is getting ready to do something for you in your life. Amen. And so our ushers are, are coming now to, to receive our gifts unto the Lord. And those who may want to give electronically, amen. Sister Gwena has that in her hand, and you can see her, and she will make sure that your offerings or your tithes is received electronically. Amen. God loves a what, y'all? All right, come on, let's give cheerfully unto the Lord.
let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for the seed that has been sown unto good ground. Father, you said in your word, you'll press it down, shake it together, build it up, let it run it over to meet the needs of your storehouse. Bless each and every giver, and Father, those who had a desire to give, God, that you would continue to meet every need according to your riches and glory. We give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. call the name of Jesus. Come on, don't be shy. How many people love to call the name of Jesus? Say, come on. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power. Power in your name. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power. Power in your name. Sit things change.
somebody to open your mouth and shout Jesus Hallelujah. come on and open your mouth stand to your feet and bless the Lord come on come on Zion come on Zion come on come on there's no other name there's no other name there's no other name the name of Jesus the name, listen, 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 listen. We getting ready to shake what's on us off. We getting ready to run the devil up out of our house. We getting ready to get the enemy out of our finances. We getting ready to get the enemy out of our children. But I need some sanctified folks that's not afraid to open up your mouth and shout. Oh, the name of Jesus, demons have to treat. The name of Jesus, demons have to flee. In the name of Jesus, yokes are destroyed. Lives are healed. Lives are set free. I dare somebody to shout. Come on, come on, time. Come on, say Jesus. Say Jesus until something begins to happen. Shout Jesus to yokes are destroyed. Shout Jesus till you begin to feel better. Je oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Come on, tell me who can stand me for us when we call on that great name, Jesus, 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 precious Jesus, we have, we have. I said we have, we have, I wish I had some victory folks right now that don't mind shouting, I got victory, I got victory over this, I got victory over sickness, I got victory over death, I got victory over my problems, I got victory over my heartaches, I got victory over my children, I got victory over my man, we have. Come on, make the devil mad up in here and shout out God victory. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, say, oh, 
neighbor, you got victory. You got victory. You got victory. You better give God a praise over it. Your children got victory over it. Your marriage got victory over it. Your health got victory over it. Just call on his name. We just say the name of Jesus. for my victory. I'm dancing for my victory. I'm dancing for my Start speaking it. You better start decreeing it. We have the Come on, let me hear it. Shake the pill. We got it. 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 Two more. to give God a praise. Yeah! 
Hallelujah. 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 We don't only have victory in this, but we got victory through this. We don't only have victory through this. But we got victory out of this. I come to tell somebody this morning, whatever the enemy put his hand on, <laughs> he can't touch it no longer. When victory is given over something, it cannot be taken away. I need, listen, listen, it's enough of us in here, those who are on the end spread in the middle, those who are on the front spread across here, because whatever it is, we're going to lay it on the altar, come on, come on saints. Start from that corner. It got out of the bush. Sunday, the little bush. Ah, I want to show you what the power of prayer can do. Come on, bro. Start right here. Come on, come on, right here to the altar. Come on, come on, right here to the altar, Sister Kosh. Come on, right here, right here, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, I don't know. Stay in the spirit. Stay in the spirit. Stay in the spirit. Huh. Woo! Sometimes you don't even know the words to say. Sometimes you don't know what to say. But I truly believe if you just open up what's in your belly, if you can release what's in your belly, And you can just give God a shout that you have never given him before. While you're here, every head bow while we're in the spirit. My text, my text. The Holy Spirit's moving. The Holy Spirit's moving. My text, Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 through 6. I'll give you the fast track version. Woo! Hallelujah. Moses is in the desert. Stay with me in the spirit. He's been there for 40 years. Woo! Hallelujah. I good. I got good illustrations here. Gwen, he keeps passing by the same area for 40 years. Leading the people in the desert. And he's passing by and he's not making any, whoo, hallelujah. He's not making any success, but he keeps passing by the same area. God has helped me, Jesus, for 40 years. And it was to then that God, watch this, lit a bush on fire. Woo, I'm getting ready to help somebody. I'm getting ready to help somebody because God has a way of getting our attention. When we're going through what we're going through and what we're facing is what we're facing and how we're dealing with it is how we're dealing with it. But God has a way of getting your attention. Moses passing the same area. 40 years. And the text says, until he saw that there was a fire burning 
on the bush. And the text says that when he realized, watch this, that the fire was burning, but the bush was not being consumed. There's some things that the enemy has turned the heat up in your life, but it has not consumed you. There's some things that you've been dealing with in your marriage and the heat is on, but it had not consumed you. There's some things you've been dealing with in your health and in your wealth and your well-being and it set you on fire, but it has not consumed you. Hey, glory. Watch this. And the text says that when he set aside and when he looked and realized that the fire was not consuming the bush then the spirit of the Lord spoke God has a way watch this is getting somebody's attention you've been living the life you've been coming as you want to come Go as you please. But God is saying, I'm trying to get your attention. You wonder why things are going the way that they are for you. And you're wondering, why am I suffering? Why do I feel this agony? Why am I in so much pain? God is trying to get your attention. Why does it seem like everything that's around me is just falling by the way? God is trying to get your attention. Trying to get, he's trying to get your attention. 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 Can I have your attention, please? It's a statement that is used on a regular basis in a crowded auditorium, in a crowded room. Can I have your attention, please? God is saying, listen, I'm trying to get your attention. You've been in the desert long enough. You've been struggling long enough. You've been dealing with the hurts and the pain long enough. You've been confused. You've been dismayed. You've been lonely. You've been in grief. You've been in agony. You felt forgotten. You feel lonely. You've been there long enough. And God is saying, I'm just trying to get your attention. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, set aside the pain. That's why you're here at the altar, because we're here to set it aside. Set aside the hurt. Set aside the mental illness. Set aside the struggle. Set aside the stress. Set aside the loneliness. Set aside the grief. Set aside the gossip. Set aside the backbiting. Set aside the hate. Set aside the envy. Set aside the lust. Set aside the homosexuality. Whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God, you only you know, only you know. And I need you to tap into a Moses experience. I need you to see yourself in the desert. But before we get there, hey God. <laughs> Woo, there's more to this story. Huh. Pastor C, once he realized that. The angel of the Lord was upon him. There was instructions that followed behind. The angel of the Lord tell him, remove your sandals. I'm about to blow somebody's mind up in here. If you look at the text, Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 through 6, verse number 1 says, that Moses led the children to the far side of the desert. Close your eyes. I need you to see a desert right now. I need you to see a desert. I got soldiers in here that fought and protected our country in a desert. And I want you to catch this in the spirit. A desert is a dry place. There's no vegetation. There's, there's no irrigation. There's, there's no growth. Everything in the desert is dead. I'm almost there. I'm preaching my message. 
But verse number six says that the angel of the Lord commanded Moses to remove his sandals. <laughs> For he said, where you're standing, Moses, is holy ground. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. But if you can remove your shoe, if you can remove whatever you got on you, I want to remind you, if you can, you can. If you can't, if you can't catch it in the spirit, that wherever you are right now in your life, in your circumstance, in your situation, you're standing right now on holy ground. You're standing, you're standing, you're standing where the pulse, the heart of God is. You're standing where God dwells. You're standing where God moves. You're standing where God answers. You're standing where God intercedes. You're standing where God speaks. You're standing where God opens doors. I need you to say these words with me. I'm standing on holy ground. No matter what it looks like, no matter how I feel, the ground that I'm standing on, in my home, on my job, in my vehicle, wherever I may be, it's holy ground. This means no weapon that is formed against me, no weapon that's formed against my family. No weapon that's formed against my health. No weapon that's formed against anything connected to me cannot prosper. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy ground. Holy ground. And I need you this morning right now to lay that thing, whatever it is, that you've been in the desert. Only you know you have been in your desert storm. I need you to lay it right here on this altar. And we're going to pray right now the greatest release over your life. Because, see, when you call on the name of Jesus, don't you know he will release that burden? When you call on the name of Jesus, don't you know he'll release that sorrow? When you call on the name of Jesus, whatever's broken, he'll begin to mend it back together again. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Come on, saints, just start praying in the spirit right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, whatever you need from God. Whatever you need God to do, whatever you need God to fix, whatever you need God to answer, the way that you need God to move in your life. Come on, in the name of Jesus, in the name of God, I can't fix this. Lord, I can't do it. I tried it on my own, God, and I did not get the success that I need. Lord, help me. Help me now, God. Help me now, God. Help me now, God. Help me now, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, saints. You got to start opening up your mouth. You can't declare this thing in silence. God needs to hear from you. Come on. If you can't pray for yourself, intercede for somebody else. Come on, in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Deacon Wanda right now, God, that you'll restore and heal her body. We're praying for Elder Rakim, God, that you'll restore back his body. In the name of Jesus, we're praying for those who are sick and sudden, those who have lost their mind, lost their hope, lost their way, God. In the name of Jesus, make Make a way out of no way, God. Have thine own way, God, on earth as it is in heaven. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh, God. Let your will be done now, God. Oh, Father, we need you like never before. In my household, God. In my marriage, God. In my health, God. In my finances, God. Those who are online, God. We're praying, God, for our virtual viewers, God. Touch them in their home, God. Let the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, let it fall fresh. Let it fall fresh. Let and fall fresh upon them, God. In the name of Jesus, we're praying now. We're praying now over this house. 
that, God, you'll make your way out of no way, God. We're praying over Living Grace Worship Cathedral. God, that you'll make every way out of no way. That you'll destroy the yokes. That you'll loose the cold, God. You'll set your captives free, God. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done, God. He'll set free and deliver. He'll set free and deliver. He'll set free and deliver. In the name of Jesus, God. Whatever they're facing, whatever the enemy has put his hands on, God, we come against it right now. In the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. 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 Right now, in the name of Jesus. And when I say release it now, I want you to lift your hands to the heaven. And I want you to give God the best praise that you have ever given him in your life if you just got to shout Jesus because the Bible declares they that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved one two three come on hallelujah come on hallelujah thank you Jesus come on 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 thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on, lift it, lift it. Come on, lift it. Lift it, lift it. Come on, lift it, lift it, lift it. Come on, lift it. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Let's thank Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. Come on, till your change begin to happen. Till your change begin to happen. Till your change begin to happen. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, young people. Come on, young people, call on Jesus. Come on, young people, call on Jesus. Come on, young people, call on Jesus. Come on, mothers, call on Jesus. Come on, mothers, call on Jesus. Come on, fathers, fathers, call on Jesus. Come on, men, call on Jesus. Come on, women, call on Jesus. Come on, boys, call on Jesus. Come on, girls, call on Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, make your way back to your seats. Calling on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you release, we hit the delete button on it. Whatever was just released and cast into the sea of forgetfulness, I'm on this side. We hit, we hit the delete button on it. And not only do we hit now the delete button, get ready for this. We're getting ready to restart. We're getting ready to refresh. That God is getting ready to do a new thing in you. He had to get rid of the old. He had to take away the old. He had to extract the old pain, the old hurt, the old lack of, the old struggle. And now he's refreshing you in the name of Jesus. I dare somebody to speak it and say, I'm refreshed. I am refreshed. God got my attention. I am refreshed. I feel better. I feel stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's do this. Let's do this. Stay there, praise team. Let's do this. As we prepare, as we ask God to consecrate our hands, <laughs> consecrate our mind, Consecrate our heart. So we ask God to examine the 
create in me a clean heart. Renew your right spirit within us. Take out what doth not belong. But search me through and through. In and out, up and down, round around. Let that be your prayer. And listen to these words as I receive from the Lord, which I also delivered to you. Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Let's do as often as you drink this in remembrance of me. He died for us. He went to the cross That you and I can have the passage to the kingdom that those who believe in him, though they were dead, shall live and never die. In remembrance of him, his body. He says, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats of this bread and drink of this cup in an unworthy manner, will be guilty of the blood of the Lord. Let a man examine himself. Let him eat of the bread, drink of the cup, eat of this bread in an unworthy manner, each in his judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many have drunk of it since, and many have formed themselves a body of it. But if we were not judged as such, we would not be judged. Condemned with the world, but therefore, my brethren, we are only a system. When we come together to eat, wait for one another. And if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest we come together in judgment. I rest, I rest on the bread and the cups. I truly believe that we got what we needed and what we came for on this morning. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will just move and have his way and take full total being of the service and that's what we experience on uh, this morning God step in God move God got our attention that was the message for this morning that I come to get your attention if that bush was not on fire Moses would have continued to be walking in the same direction. God needed something to get his attention to show to him that I am God. I am the Lord thy God who brought you out of this. I need you to focus on me. And when you cast all of your cares upon him, he'll begin to direct lead you through whatever you're possibly going through. But give him your undivided attention. We're getting ready to have communion. I'm going to let you go. Get a pass today. The Holy Spirit belongs to you. You yield to the Spirit. I was in the airport on yesterday trying to get back from Charlotte back here to be in my place and my flight was delayed for several hours, packed airport. But when the agent would get on the loudspeaker and says, can I have your attention in the boarding area? Can I have your attention in the terminal? Everybody is fast. They begin to draw their attention to where the voice is coming from. For any updates, God is saying, can I have your attention in the house? Can I have your attention on your job? Can I have your attention 
in your home that everything should stop. God, what are you saying? God, what are you doing? God, where are you leading? God, where are you guiding me? I come to give you your attention. To tell you that no matter what you're facing and no matter what desert experience you're in, I'm still the Lord God. This desert experience was meant for you. It was designed for you. I brought you to it, but not to leave you there to bring you through it. And if you would just follow my voice and follow my command, I will lead you through this. He says that I will send rivers through your desert. I will send a road through your wilderness. Can I have your attention, please. Can you look to the hills for with cometh your help, knowing that your help come? Can I have your attention? That I'm waking you up in the middle of the night to get on your knees for a purpose. I'm telling you to go and do what I have commanded you to do. For can I have your attention. When it was into Moses, look at the burning bush and realize that the fire did not come. So can we fast forward? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in the fire first that was turned up 70 times. Did not cast three into the fire. Why are they not in agony? Why are they not in pain? Why are they not disintegrating when they're walking in the fire? Ooh, come on, y'all. Y'all got to catch it in the spirit. They're walking in the fire. They're walking in the fire. But isn't it supposed to be three? But I see one more with them in the fire. And they were having a worship revival in the fire because God was with them. Can I have your attention? Please, I'm trying to carry you to your next level. I'm trying to bring you out of the darkness. I'm trying to heal your body. You're running and you're trying this, you're trying that, and you're distracted. And all I'm trying to do is get your attention. And the minute I can get your attention and you can put your eyes on me, I can begin to work on you. God don't want to work with distracted folks. I can't move the way that I need to move in your life. I can't be your very being if you're not giving me your undivided attention. Nobody in this room likes to be ignored. Ask a parent. Trying to talk to their child. And they're looking. Boy, do, do you hear what I'm saying? Are you listening to me? Because you demand. God is saying, son, daughter, I'm trying to lead you away from that path. I'm trying to keep you on the right road of righteousness. I'm trying to lead you in the path for my name's sake, even while you're walking through the valley of the death, shadows of death. I just want your attention. And so Jesus got their attention. And he spoke to his disciples and he said, this is, get it in your hand, this is my body. This is a piece of flesh. This is a piece of bread. This is a piece of juice. This is unleavened bread. What do you mean this is your body? Understand the symbolic meaning of Jesus' teaching that this is my body that I'm getting ready to be broken. On the cross, broken for your sins, broken for your disease, broken for your heartaches, broken for your pain, broken for your
make your heart ever been broken? Come on, saints. It's not a good feeling. But my body for 39 last years broken. You ever lost somebody and you were so sad that you were broken? Never compares to the body that God gave you. So you do it. This is my body. This is how it's broken. Now take this one. Come on, thank him for his body. said that this cup that he was holding of my blood, what? You want to wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. What? You make us whole again? Nothing but the blood. It reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day lose its power. He said, this the new covenant of my blood. Drink ye all of this in remembrance of me, the blood of Jesus. God, we thank you for the blood. God, I thank you for the blood. God, I thank you for the blood. God, I thank you for the blood. The blood that gives me strength. The blood that makes me whole. The blood that wash and cleanses our sins. As we get ready to go out on a high note, Exodus 3, chapter 1, verse 7. I want you to read that. I want you to get that into your spirit. I'll come back to it. First seven verses. Now Moses was tending to the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, led the flock back to the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of and the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of the bush. So he looked. So he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire. But the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, he called him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he says, here I am. And then he said, do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet for the place where you stand, remember verse 1 says he led him back to the desert. Doesn't matter where I am. The text says where you stand, this is holy ground. Moreover, he says that I am the God of your father Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon the Lord. Can I have your this place today, nothing else matters but God. And 
matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, nothing else matters but God. Have you been blessed? Come on, have you been blessed? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet. I want to chat with the men quickly. Quickly, I won't keep you long. This is going to be two minutes of your time. I want to chat with the praise team for the other two minutes so I can get it all done in five minutes of your time. Amen. The power of God was so hot in there, I got so happy I just slid into home plate. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You know, Superman won just the dance, y'all, you know. <laughs> Don't act like y'all ain't never did that dance. Listen, I done seen some worse things on, on the Internet, so I'll take that one. I'll take that one. My man back there, he was dying. I said, I see you playing. He said, Dante, that's right. I would have did the same thing, too. I told, I told Cialde, nah, I ain't do that. I, I slid <laughs> like that. <laughs> that Cialde gave me one of those. Go ahead, man. I know what I saw. <laughs> Nevertheless, listen, when you get excited for God, amen, it does not matter. Amen. I see some wigs fly off. I see some teeth come out their mouth. Come on. I see. Don't act like y'all ain't seen some stuff in church. When you get excited for the Lord, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I laid hands on some folk and they took out the whole row. Amen. Things happen when you get excited. But when you know it's the Holy Spirit, you ain't hurt. He covers you. He keeps you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know it all sounds good. Y'all ain't going to live it down. I'll take it on the chin. Go ahead and get it out. Get it out, y'all. <laughs> I, I, know, I know my daughter over here, Tanisha, she already on it. Amen. See, this is what my children do. I promise, let y'all go because we're right on time. That's right. My children will go back, and they'll find that, and they'll doctor it up, and they'll make me go backwards, and they'll make me go forward. They'll make me go backwards, and they'll make me go forward, and they'll put that on the big screen at home. And I just got to sit there, and I'm going to have to take it. But I'm gonna no, 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 laughter is good for the soul. If you got to come to church and be bound up in church, that means nothing. You ought to come to church and feel liberated involved and renewed and refreshed and energized. Don't let nothing steal your joy. Amen. What I want to do, Pastor Ben, come, come, come. I want to pray over her, and I need our warriors to pray. She's going in for surgery on Tuesday, and we want to anoint her. Amen. That everything definitely will be well. She's going to be down for a minute, so don't y'all bother her. Amen. Let her rest. Amen. Reach out to one of the leaders in the church if there's any and we'll keep going. I just want her to be well. I want her to get well. I want her to recover well. So pray for her on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. She'll be going in and she'll be coming down victorious. And we believe God for it right now. So let's put our hands in our direction. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our pastor, Pastor Dawn, my wife, our mother. Father, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus that you allow your healing power from the crown of her head down to the soles of her feet. Touch her now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bring her through this procedure, God. Bring her out victorious, God. From the crown of her head down to the soles of her feet. Any situation or ailments that have attacked her body, God, we ask for complete healing and restoration. We pray now, God, for the doctor. We pray for the anesthesiologist. We pray for the recovery, God. We pray now, God, that you bring her out better than the way that she went in. And now, God, even through the recovery period, God, oh, God, lighten the pain, lighten the discomfort, God, lighten the weakness, God, and restore back unto her the strength that she needs now like never before. That, Father, when she comes back into the house of God, leaping and dancing and shouting and rejoicing, giving you glory and honor because you said in your word you would bruise for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon you, but by your stripes, by your stripes, by your stripes, she's already healed. 
And while I'm praying, if you're in here and there's a sickness in your body, I know we're getting ready to go, but lay hands on yourself. Touch that area in your body. Don't let this anointing just be for her. Come on, it's enough for everybody. Touch your mind, touch your head, touch your knees, touch your finances. And God, do it now. Do it right now, God, for them, for my brother, for my sister, for the mother, for the father, for those who are online, God. Heal now, set free, and deliver, God. Destroy every yoke we possess and we proclaim claim healing now, God, that is taking place, God, from the crown down to the soles of their feet, God, give them back everything, God, that the enemy had tried to steal from them, God, we claim victory, 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 we receive victory, we receive victory, we take back victory, in the name of Jesus. And now, God, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, even the fall. What our ears have heard through the word of God. And God, as we depart from here, not from your presence, that you will go with us. Keep us in perfect peace as our mind stayed on you. Let no weapon formed against us prosper. And God, when we return home, let us find things better than the way we left it in decency and in order and we give you glory and we give the honor let the children of god say let the words of my mouth the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight oh lord my strength my strength my strength and my redeemer god bless you i love you jesus love you and look at somebody and say can i have your attention please Go with God, and God will go with you. We'll see you on Wednesday night. We'll see you on next Sunday. Thank you to our visitors. Please come back. Please worship with us. Please continue to connect with us. We thank you for having us. Have you.